let's say that you have a gallery block and within that gallery block, you've got lots of client logos. So I know a lot of websites that do this where they have featured in or previous clients and then they have all the logos of their clients. What we use for this is usually a gallery block. So we'll have the title, clients featured in, or previous clients, or whatever it may be. And then under that, we'll have a gallery block. What happens, let's say you have rows of four. So you've got four, four, four. But what happens if you've got four, four, and then you don't have you know 12 logos, you've only got 10. So it would go four, four, two. What happens there is that it looks a bit a bit naff. So you've got your four, your four, and then this two is left aligned and they sit to the left. So there's this big gap on one side. And a lot of clients say to me, well, I don't want this to look like that. What you could do intuitively is do two rows of five, but some people think oh, it makes the logos look too small. So what is the solution? Well, the solution is that we add a little bit of code and what that does is it gives us the four and the four, but then anything underneath is center aligned. So instead of being off to the left, it stays in the center and it looks a lot neater and more professional for a client's site or for your own site. So it's a really simple bit of code. We'll hop on over to the screen and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing we want to do is add our gallery block. And I'm going to show you the example that I used while I was on camera before. So we'll add a section. And what we'll do is we'll just add a classic editor section. You can do this on Fluid Engine as well. It's just easier to stack it this way. So we'll do previous clients. Let's make that a H4. Okay, so previous clients. Then we want to add in a gallery block. And then it's already a grid, but we want to specify a grid if it's not. Then what you want to do is upload all of your logos. So I'm just uploading this placeholder 12 times. And as I said, it's going to be four across, four across, four across. But because we've got two on the end, it's all left aligned. With these client logo galleries, I tend to make them smaller as well. So we'll bring that content width down. And then what we'll do is we'll put some more padding around the logos. Like I said, when I was on camera just then, we could slide this so it's just five across. You know, problem solved. But some people may want more rows. So if we go back on and we say we want it to be four across. Save and exit. Now I've already got the code ready. All I have to do is just delete these. And there we go. You can see the logos move into the center. So essentially what we're doing is we're targeting specifically the grid design of gallery. Then we wanna set a display of flex and then use wrap for the flex wrap and simply justify the content to the center. If we wanted, we could do it to the left, do it to the right, whatever you want to do it. If for some reason you wanted to put it on the right, you can do that. If we go to center, there we go. And this just ensures if there's ever an odd number of logos or images along the bottom that otherwise wouldn't fill the entire line, it makes sure that it's centered and it just looks neater in my opinion. And this is a bugbear for a lot of clients. Really, you should be able to center a line, a gallery, like natively, but it's not on offer. So this is our next best thing. It's one, two, three, four, five. Five simple lines of code. Copy and paste this. It'll be in the blog post in the description below and you're good to go. So if you found this helpful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.